It's too late for me, chat. It's too late for me. Don't even try. No, no longer in denial. I have a problem. It's Pokemon cards. Um, so let me tell you what I'm doing before I stream my video games. I'm opening, I'm opening cards. You can come back in about a half hour and there will be Valheim on stream. But I'd like to uh, real quick tell you what happened. So chat member Jason got in touch and said that he got a tin of the Shining Fates cards for retail price, which is 30 bucks, as opposed to what scalpers want, which is like 60 to 80. So chat member Jason said, um, I'll send you these to your P.O. box if you open them on stream. And I said, I'll, I'll give you the money. I might not open them on stream. So I sent him the PayPal. And then I said, yes, I will open them on stream. So this is my last chance to get a Charizard, I think, uh, because I don't know if I'm going to get more of these cards. But I'm going to open them. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the addiction. I also have serial cards. I found the Golden Grams or whatever they are at um, a local. There was one box left. It was just on my way home from the studio, and uh, and yeah. So we'll do that. Chat, you can judge me as harshly as you want. I'm okay with that. I deserve it. One thing I won't be doing is bending packs. So at the very least, yeah, today's like double addiction, Pokemon cards and Valheim, Valheim, whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna start with the cereal pack. Thank you, Jason, for sending these cards to my PO box. Uh, for those that don't know the Shining Fates set, which I opened on stream last time, that's the one that everyone's scalping. That's the one that has the Charizard. That's the one that's, um, you know, stuff that's like 50 bucks is going for 120. So when I was offered this $30 box, instead of it being 60 or 80 bucks, I was like, yeah, that sounds good. So um, we're going to do this. So here's the cereal cards. I got a shiny Pikachu, which I think comes with every pack of cereal cards. For the record, I got this for like a $5 pack of cereal, a box of cereal. I said this the other day, but people are scooping these up and selling them on eBay for $30. So, I also got a, a Sinus tea, which is tea. And I also got a Farfetch'd, which I like Farfetch'd. So, cool. Why the gloves? Oh, because... um. It's part of the bit. Yeah. So if you missed, if you're just joining, you should go back and rewatch the first part of the stream. So this is the tin that I got from um, chat member Jason for retail price, which is very exciting. It comes with a Cramorant card. And um, yeah, no, I trust me. This is this is a real addiction. Chat, don't even buy a single pack. But it comes with six. Um, Boosters. This is, I, I may not see these cards again. So I'm going to say that for now, this might be my last attempt at getting that crazy Charizard card. Um, that would be nice. So, so I'm going to open up these cards and then I'm going to play Valheim. But for the record, Pikachu goes into the thing. I still have these left over. So bending the pack is the only way to get the Charizard. Cool. Well, for me, it's not even about selling them. Like I'm probably just going to keep them like the, the value and all that. Like it's fun to think about how much these cards are worth. Like Charizard's like $500. But, um, you know, I'm good. I'm probably just going to just keep it like keep it for years and look at it and think about how silly I was back when everyone started opening cards again. 
So here, here's what you do. So here's this thing, right? You go like that. One, one, two, three, four. I've learned so much since I first opened these cards, chat. So here we go. Let's see. Here we go. First pack luck with Charizard. We're going to get him. It's a shield. Okay. Rotom. I already have those cards from when I opened my ETB on stream. Floatzel. Rowlet. Um, more Pico. Um, Nick at Night. Again. Eevee. Gossip Floor. Oh, Cinderace, shiny. That's a shiny. That's a really, really good card. It's it's very shiny, in fact. Wow, cool. And finally, um, Zarud, Zarudo, Zarud. That's okay. Yeah. Once again, if you're just joining, if you want to know why I'm doing this again, A, addiction, uh, but B, just rewatch the beginning of the stream. So we're going to throw Cinderace in there. So a pretty cool card. It's another shiny. So I, I found some shinies when I first opened the cards um, on stream. That's a $15 card. Cool. Look at that face. Never thought I'd see Vinny doing this. Yeah, me, me neither. I mean, I still have all my old cards. Like, I don't know. I, I had it. Hang on. I had a goddamn Charizard. I'm almost positive I had a Charizard, and I don't know where the fuck it is. But uh, before I open the next pack, so I have five packs left. If we don't get uh, the crazy Charizard card, then that's okay. But essentially, yeah, here's here's my old cards. They're not shadowless. They're not like, you know, amazing. But I've had these cards for years. And I've kept them pretty safe. Got a nice Blastoise in there. Um, just a regular ass Pikachu. I don't know why the Pikachu's in there, but so I've had uh, I've had cards for a while, but this new set, being as rare as it is, I'm like caught up in the hype. And. Uh, Ross ordered a bunch. Vinny, do you plan on playing TGC, TCG one day for fun? I do. Yeah, one day. I didn't enable Ross. I didn't enable Ross. Ross asked me about it. We talked about it. He got some cards. He's going to open them. This was not me. This was a decision he made prior to me. Chat, swear to fucking um, Mario's crusty anus. I swear. There's no enabling here. Ross made the decision on his own. Maybe it was Nagla. Maybe it was Nagla. Anyway, here's the next pack. I just opened it. So we got an energy card. This is going to be the Charizard pack, isn't it? Tropius. Rotom. Cramorant, which is stupid bird, which I have, as you saw. Bird. That's the promotional card. So Rowlet, Cufant, Spinarak, Snom, Orsi. Coughing again. Why these? Ugh. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. That's a nice card. So this is considered a rainbow rare, which is, um, you see why this is so fucking addictive? This is a secret rare. Sorry, secret, secret rare. 
So um, look how shiny it is. It's textured. I don't even know who this Pokemon is and I don't give a single shit. It's so shiny. That's an $18 card. Cool. I already have uh, the non-rainbow version of this. So that's pretty cool. Eh. Throw it in the sleeve. There you go. It's all sleeved up. Yep, this is my life now. But um, four packs remaining. I now have, like, how many coughings do I have? I opened packs last time on stream and I probably got, what, four coughings? So that does not bode well for my health. Okay, here we go. Beta64 just joined chat. I keep seeing people open cards. Maybe I should do it too. Don't do it. So there's the Charizard boy that everyone's chasing. This is the chase card. And this is the one chat. Here's the problem. Again, if you're just joining, like watch the beginning. It was, it's kind of impossible to get these cards for anything other than double or triple the price because of scalpers. And um, I was lucky enough that someone told me they got a bunch of cards from Target and they were like, I bought a tin for you. Do you want it? And I'm like, fuck yes, I'll take that tin. And I just gave them 35 bucks, 30 and five for shipping. So hell yeah. But beta 64, if you can find cards, good luck. The Shining Fate stuff is really impossible to find. Everything else you might be able to find a little bit. But uh, my deli guy told me even he's been having trouble. And he's the, the card master. You know, he's the one. He's the reason this is happening. So anyway, next pack. Energy. Thwacky. Ball guy. I like ball guy. That's a cool name too. Ball guy. Uh, Tropius. Yanma. I have too many Yanmas. Another coughing. More Pico. Horsey. Spinarak again. All of this is... Oh, oh! Another shiny. Or beetle. Cool. You can see here, that's that right there, that shiny like star means that it's a shiny. Um, so that's like an extra rare, nice card. So that's cool. Um, it's a beetle. I like that. Okay. And chat. Chat, what's what's that? What is that? Oh, okay. It's a Cramorant. God damn it. It's a VMAX card. It's cool. It's not Charizard, but now I have both versions of the stupid bird. Again, I barely even know who these fucking Pokemon are, but it's... When you pull the card, the dopamine is pretty good. Um, cool. Well, those are two good cards. Bird up. Sleeve this card. If you're just joining, I implore you to watch the whole stream because I even found Serial Pikachu. Isn't that something? The serial Pikachu that everyone gets, apparently. So yeah, War Beetle. Um, cool. All right, three packs remain. There's still plenty of plenty of time to get that Charizard Chase card. Everybody, uh, how much would you donate? I don't take donations. For me to bend a pack, the answer is zero because I'm not fucking doing it. Nope. Okay, so once again, here's the thing you do. You take this card. That's for the online game. And then you do one, two, three, four. All right. So then that's how you get the drama of the card. 
I've learned this. So anyway, energy. They aren't Star Trek cards, but they're pretty cool. Cramorant. A towel. Um, Thwacky. Oh shit, rare Rowlet. Nah, just regular Rowlet. Chutel. More Pico again. I have a lot of more Pico cards. Coughing again, of course. Gossip Floor. Uh, reverse Hollow Rotom. Pretty nice. And Dreadnought, which I already have, and that's that's kind of a not a great pack. Two packs left, chat. Charizard's like one in 260 packs from what I've understood. But, um, you know, two packs left. No problem. We'll get the Charizard. If not, then I'll get the next best thing, which is the big ditto. There's a massive ditto. So which one do we do next? Do we do the frog or the, the gecko? Whatever that is. What is this thing? It's a lizard? What's its name? It's a dragon? Okay, we'll just do that then. Toxtricity? Dragapult? I don't know. People are just listing, like, names. You could probably make up a fake name like Gekadile or like Penisaur, and I'd believe it. Clearly, I am most qualified to be opening these packs, as you can tell by my extensive knowledge of this subject. Having watched the cartoon with Misty and Brock, we'll turn this frying pan into a drying pan. Three, four. Vin, do you plan on playing any other Pokemon game anytime soon? Um, just Pokemon. Uh, just, just Snap. The new Pokemon Snap. So, let's start with this energy card here. For the record, the game is pretty cool. Like, the, the trading card game. And there's a, a version of it that you can download that I checked out. That you don't have to um, play with your actual cards and get them all scummy. So, Rusted Sword, there's a Luxio, Boisel, Coughing, uh, Shinx, Grookey, Tripinch. Oh. Oh, shit! I got the Lapras Femax! Yo, that's uh, that's another really. I have the other Lapras that I got in my first card. No, this is the uh, Lapras V Max. The first one I got was a Lapras V. It's shiny. Thirty-four dollar card. That's great. I'm getting pretty lucky. Some good luck in this pack. It's really, it's really pretty. It's a nice looking card. I know Lapras because I, I know Gen 1 a little bit. And, oh! Oh, well, it's not a shiny, but it's pretty cool. Some hollow bleed. Frostmouth? Frostmouth? It's the evolution from Snom. Number 873, Frost Moth Pokemon. $700 for that one card. Okay, so I got a Lapras V Max. I have the Lapras V already. That's very cool. I'll sell it for one dollar. I wonder if Jason will be pissed that he sent this tin and not the other one that he bought for himself. Like, I wonder what cards he got in his tin. 
Jason, please let me know. I don't know his chat name. Um, one more pack. Again, it's a miracle that you can find anything like at a retail store of this particular set because of this boom right now because of Logan Jones and assholes like myself that ruin the hobby for everyone else. Um, because people, apparently I've, I've heard what they do is they wake up at like four in the morning and then wait in line at like a target in order to um, get there as they open and then buy all the packs or the um, the ETBs, which are 50 bucks, and sell them for like double that or more, 120, 130. Um, in fact, I've heard that some of the, the trucks that stock these stores, they discovered trackers on them. Like people put rudimentary tracking devices on the resupply trucks and then followed them from store to store. And then they're not just selling them on Facebook. What they're doing is they're actually bringing them to local game stores, like little card shops, like mom and pop card shops. And they're upcharging there too. So this has become a real miserable hobby if you're a child. And I'm sorry I've contributed to it. Um, I didn't realize I just have fun with the cards I should be doing the Star Trek cards from 25 years ago like Sphinxes. Fuck, 30 years ago. It's probably the best move. Um, let me do this last pack here. So here we go. One more pack, chat. One more chance at Charizard. I may never get my hands on Shining Fates again. But yeah, I'm not planning on selling these. I'm just, I'm happy to have them. They're kind of, they're kind of neat. So here we go. Um, here's Water Energy, Thwacky. Rusted Shield, Scrotom, Nick at Night, Weasel, Shinx, Rare Shinx, everybody, Coughing again, Trap Pinch, Reverse Hollow Grookey. and Nothing. Well, there you go. I should have uh, opened that Lapras pack last. Someone just said, LOL, get fucked. <laughs> yes, get fucked. That's me right now. Hang on. Yes! Get fucked! Yes! Get fucked! All right, so... So that's uh, six packs plus cereal. And uh, I now have... Who wants a coughing card? Next time conventions happen, I'll just bring all of my coughing cards. And I'll just tell the um, the people at the convention that I'm coughing on people. And then probably get kicked out for making a very inappropriate joke. So. That's going to be fun. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some of the the stuff here's the stuff that I uh, that I got let me just make sure yeah all right so here we go chat this is this is my um, my pull rate so we got um, Cinderace shiny uh, that's a good card according to the shiny the Lapras V Max which is the best card I think Really, really good card. I'm happy with that. Frost Mouth. I keep wanting to say Frost Mouth. So Frost Mouth. Um, Rotom Reverse Hollow. Or Beetle Shiny. 
There's the Pikachu from Serial. Hang on a minute. Where is the proper focus? I should have done this at the beginning. I thought I focused properly. Pika. Cramorant VMAX, which is another nice full art card. Coughing, Reverse Hollow. Uh, Alchemy VMAX, I forgot I got this. This is really cool too. So that's a nice cake. And uh, Grookey Reverse Hollow. So yeah, it's not bad. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, chat, for watching and suffering through this again. That was, that was a good set. I feel pretty happy about that. Got my money's worth, and I got a cereal out of it, too. That Lapras is really nice looking. Uh, yeah. So, what now? Do we play video games? Vinny, card opening bingo when? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I have the other bird. Because the tins come with promotional birds. So I'll just throw that in a sleeve. It's uh, it's this one, which is nice. But I mean, it's it's one that if you buy the tin, you get it no matter what. But God, they do such a good job with these fucking hollow cards. They're textured. They have really nice colors, good shininess. The full art's really good. Like they really know what they're doing with this nonsense cardboard for babies. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, the game is pretty fun too, though. Like, the actual trading card game is cool. So. Ben, did you ever get into Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Would you ever stream it? Maybe. There's a, like I said, there's a game that you can download and enter the codes. And, uh, and you can play the Pokemon card game like on your computer it's free so i don't know maybe if i get into it even more there's a chance but again this is not an easy hobby to get into at this particular moment so i don't i don't know but no thank you for watching i understand that um this is a bizarre thing for a 34 year old man to get into but it seems to be pretty popular at the moment um, I did not expect this. I had no idea this would be in my 2020 bingo list. But it's good. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I know some people probably did. Others maybe not so much, but that's life. Speaking of, Valheim is up next. So yeah, stick around. I'm going to do a BRB real quick so that I can get Valheim going. And um, I will stick around if you do. Look at that smug face on that frog. He's high as fuck, and he's like, yeah, you want Charizard? Sorry, my dude. And I'm like, don't call me my dude. Stick around. Valheim up next. Yes! Get fucked! All right, that's still happening.